Hey, what's up, folks? It's BC, it's Alloy7, and this is my review for Final Fantasy IV The Complete Collection on PSP. Let's start this thing off with the bottom line up front. Final Fantasy IV The Complete Collection is a tedious grind fest. You see, once upon a time, Final Fantasy IV or Final Fantasy II on Super Nintendo in the States or whatever, you know what I'm talking about, used to be my favorite RPG of all time. But that's when I was young and didn't know any better, and now that I'm older and have several RPGs under my belt, I've seen the light. Final Fantasy games do not age well. Okay, next let's break this review down into our gamer categories that describe our individual playstyle preferences. First, we have the bookworms category. Those looking for a deep storyline with engaging characters should most certainly head for the door. For those of you still here, you'll play as Cecil or Cecil or daggone it, why can't Final Fantasy writers pick names that don't have more than one acceptable pronunciation? Anyway, Cecil is a dark knight working for a corrupt king who's working for a demon-possessed knight who's trying to acquire the crystals in order to conquer the world with their power. Of course, you rebel, become a white knight, get your girlfriend captured, and have to fight these bad guys to get your girl back and save the world. Bottom line, Final Fantasy IV is every other role-playing game you've ever played in terms of story. And to be fair, the After Years does add a bit more context and backstory to the game, but none of it's really all that amazing. Suffice it to say that I've never really thought Final Fantasy games have had great writing. Frankly, they've always been a bit contrived and corny to me. Okay, next we have our strategist category. Battles in Final Fantasy IV The Complete Collection are the old school turn based flavor. Final Fantasy IV was the first game in the series to employ the active time battle system which required a turn gauge to fill up for a combatant to carry out the command you've given him through the menu. Any strategy the system requires is really enabled or rendered unnecessary based on your party members levels. In short, combat in Final Fantasy IV The Complete Collection is a bit on the boring side but does require some strategic creativity if you are under leveled. Next we have our builders category. Those who love to develop and customize your party members will be disappointed with Final Fantasy IV and the complete collection after years and so on. Spells and abilities are learned at specific levels and there is limited armor and weapons you can buy or discover by exploring the world. And that brings us to our explorers category. Final Fantasy IV The Complete Collection has a quasi-open world you can explore once you get far enough into the game to get the airship. However, there's really no great reason to explore this world other than finding good places to conduct your mandatory level grinding. Next we've got our audio files and visualist category. Final Fantasy IV The Complete Collection updates the graphics and sound from the original game. Purists can still rock the original soundtrack should you choose to, but the upgrade is done well enough to let it ride. All right, guys, let's talk about the verdict. As I said, Final Fantasy games do not age well in Final Fantasy IV. The complete collection is no exception to this rule. Unless you're an old school purist who just loves these outdated mechanics or you're a new school player determined to experience the roots of Japanese RPGs, just plan on playing something else. And that's all I have for you today, friends. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and thank you for commenting. Do you agree or disagree with this review? Leave me some commentary. If you have some questions or if I left something out, feel free to leave them in the comment section as I am always watching. If this is your first time here, know that we do gaming reviews every Monday. So go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. My friends, until next time, until all in one, it's BC the Brain Supreme here at Alloy7. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. And Godspeed.